Let's talk Isaac Garendo. Kyle Shanahan has his ego in two picks this year. Big time. Ricky Pearsall. No one else would have made that pick in round one. It was Kyle Pick. And Isaac Garendo. The running back he traded up for. He did it again. He fell in love with the running back that other teams wouldn't necessarily have taken that high and traded up for him. Every time he's traded up for a running back, it hasn't worked out. Joe Williams, Trey Sermon. Third time's a charm. Again, it was seven on seven, so no actual handoffs. They targeted him four times. So, you know, Kyle's sensitive about these picks. Everyone's saying, why did you take Pearsall? Why did you trade up for Isaac Rendo? He started one game in college. What were you thinking? He ran a 4-3, and you traded up for him? Well, get ready for Garendo to get the ball a million times this offseason because Kyle wants to be right. There's one thing I know about Kyle is he wants to be right. He's not going to concede this quickly. So wait for Garendo to get a bunch of targets. He got four today. He caught three of them. That's great. He dropped one. It was a screen. There was no one around. That wasn't great. But he caught three or four targets. So that's nice. Could I tell that he ran a 4-3? No. But maybe, I mean, he's a track champ, so I imagine he can. I mean, I, I mean, he did it, so I, I know that he can. But does he look like that on field? I don't know. I didn't see that. Another thing about Isaac Garendo, I was talking about the uh, the, the the golly G O oh whiz. I'm so it's so amazing to be here. Garendo. Almost more than anyone. I mean, Garendo's story is incredible. Like he played wide receiver in high school, went to Wisconsin, switched to running back so he could get on the field but barely played, and then transferred to Louisville where he had a decent season but didn't start. And he's talking like, you know, I, I uh, this, it wasn't long ago where I didn't think I was going to get drafted. And now he's getting force-fed the ball in Niners rookie minicamp because they traded up to take him in round four. It's just life comes at you so fast. I don't know. When I hear a, a rookie say, boy, this is amazing. I didn't really expect to be high. Sometimes I, it hasn't really sunk in yet. I got to pinch myself. I'm thinking, mm, mm. a lot of guys who didn't make it have said that. To me, the guys who make it are the ones who are like unfazed by it. Like, I'm supposed to be here. I'm supposed to be here. Frankly, I'm pissed I didn't go higher. Like, how, many, how many players have we seen with that attitude? Ronaldo Green has that attitude. I'm supposed to be here. Should have been picked. Frank Gore had that attitude. Isaac Garendo's like, boy, round four? That's nice. And he was talking like, you know, I'm actually better suited to be a backup on this team because I've been a backup my whole life. These other running backs are used to start, and I'm used to being a backup. Like, okay. But again, no handoffs, four targets, three catches, one drop. I don't know. Maybe it'll be money.